Yo, look, there will be no T-Pain slander while I got something to say about it. Fucking roll that shit. Some of y'all motherfuckers acting like y'all don't know the legacy, the fucking icon that T-Pain is in the hip hop and R&B industry. So let me learn you a little something one time. Now, before we get started, I obviously know that T-Pain already said he was, it, was just, it was just a story that he was telling for all laughs. And I know that shit happens in the music industry. Travis Scott's a busy ass fucking dude. So maybe he was just tired, you know? So I'm not even hating on Travis Scott. It's just all these other motherfuckers out here, all these little young bucks that don't realize that Travis Scott wouldn't even be here without T-Pain. How quickly we forget that how the whole auto-tune game started. Auto-tune is just taken for granted at this phase, at this phase in music. And I was on Twitter seeing all the little Travis Scott fanboys, seeing all the little Uzi Vert fanboys, not even realizing, not even realizing that their music is only possible because of T-Pain. T-Pain revolutionized the way that the music industry sees auto-tune. T-Pain came in and was basically like, yo, this auto-tune shit right here, this is not even a fucking crutch. This shit is fire and we're gonna use it as an instrument. We're gonna use it as a tool. It's no longer gonna be hiding shitty ass lyrics. It's no longer gonna be hiding shitty ass rapper voices. We're actually gonna use this motherfucker and we're gonna make bangers with it. And boy, let me tell you, did he ever make bangers with it? In the same way that Kanye West came in and changed the whole way that the world looks at rap, changed the way that people dress, changed the way that the shit sounds, came in and gave Chicago an entire sound. The way that Kanye Kanye West was revolutionary to the game, that's how revolutionary T-Pain was and still is to auto-tune and to hip hop and rap and the way that we use it. If Travis Scott loved the boy, he's a vibe, if he had to rap without auto-tune, shit would be fucking trash. The reason why Travis Scott is as popular as he is is because he's brought that like psychedelic trap sound and all of the ambiance that comes with his music and the vibe that comes with his music and then he combines that with fucking dope ass performances. He's one of the best performers that rap has ever seen. But his sound doesn't happen without T-Pain. All the fucking mumble rappers that everybody hates, that transition period was happening because of T-Pain. T-Pain had the talent, he had the talent to use auto-tune and elevate it to another level, whereas all these mumble rap artists that we're talking about, i probably say like 2015 to 2018 timeframe, maybe 14, these motherfuckers were using it as a crutch and that's why auto-tune got a bad rap. Another reason auto-tune got a bad rap, Jay-Z had the song Death to Auto tune but he wasn't talking about pain he was talking about all the shitty little wannabe t-pains talking about the people that didn't know how to use the tools properly imagine you wanted to buy a house and this master craftsman comes up and like builds the house and then right next door you get your Theo Wan who is not the same type of craftsman with the tools and builds a shitty house right next door and devalues your entire property because that motherfucker doesn't know what he's doing that's basically what happened to t-pain and then Jay-Z song death to auto-tune was basically the nail in the coffin for auto-tune at that time now it's used much more subtly it's used to fucking bring an ambiance t-pain had it front and center so much so that kanye west arguably one of the most iconic influential people that this world has ever seen t-pain and his use of auto-tune basically created and inspired kanye west to make the whole 808 and heartbreak album which basically every rapper today says that 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 album was one of the inspirations for the way that their music sounds. Kanye West, 808, Kid Cudi's Man on the Moon, Drake's So Far Gone mixtape. This is the reason why music sounds as it sounds because they blended all that. And two of those people, two of those people got their direct inspiration from T-Pain. And just in case you forgot one time, let's go over some of the bangers. The breakout track. I'm sprung. Good life with T-Pain. Like we always do at this time. I go for mines. I gots to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. As much as the rap world hates Flo Rida and wishes to forget that he even existed in the rap community, you can't deny that T-Pain and him, when they brought out that low track, that shit was a global banger. Let me buy you a drink, shorty snapping. And then on top of that, Bartender Broke up with my girl last night So I went to the club Put on a fresh white suit And a mini coupe sitting on dubs Motherfucker had a mini cooper sitting on dubs Who does that? We had I'm in love with a stripper We had fucking Kiss Kiss 
She want that lovey dubby, that kiss kiss. Banger after banger after banger. Ooh, I can't believe it. Ooh, ooh, she all on me. Walk it out two step by DJ Unk. Everybody knows that song. My, my stepmom knows that song. Blame it on the motherfucking alcohol, Jamie Foxx, you know? All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Fetty are on my mind. I can never get enough. You've officially been chopped and screwed back when Houston rap was on. Yo, the dude could do it all. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, yo, you're saying things we already know. This video ain't for you, motherfucker. This video for all the little kids out there, all the little young bucks that are running around slandering all the OG's names and not realizing they wouldn't be bumping their shitty mid fucking rap if it wasn't for the goats that came before. But that's it, I'm done with y'all. All I gotta say left is respect your fucking elders. Thank <laughs> you.